Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today I'd like to present a Charm Square Angel update. This was one of the first designs that I presented on my channel last year, and I just thought that she deserved an update. This year's version features the Dear Christmas collection. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. Today we will make a Charm Square Angel featuring the Dear Christmas collection. I have three uh, five inch charm squares. This is a 20 millimeter face. The face tutorial is in my Rick Rack Ruby Basics. I also have a wing tutorial in the Basics playlist. Let's get going. This is six inch wide tool. I'm gonna cut two lengths, each one about 18 or 20 inches long. I have two lengths, fold them in half and tie them off with about a 15 inch length of ribbon. I'm going to thread the ends of the ribbon through the head bead from the bottom to the top. I'm going to press the head onto the tool and pull it until the top of the tool is showing a little bit at the top back it out and add a drop of glue here, a smudge of glue, and then pull it on. And uh, the idea is that the glue will secure the tool inside the head bead. Tie this off at the top, a nice generous hanging loop, and I'll trim the ends. I'm going to look at the deer I want the deer to be right side up as much as I can, and then I'm gonna sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance side by side. I'll press the seams toward the darker, the center fabric. Then I'm also going to press under a quarter inch hem. Now I'm going to sew the hem. I'm going to switch my thread to green and apply some green rickrack here. The reason that I hemmed the dress is because if a little bit of the fabric shows um, between the zigs and the zags of the rickrack, I wanna make sure I have a nice finished edge. There we go. Now I'll fold this over and seam up the back seam. I'll turn it to the right side. And now I'm going to gather it by hand. I'm using the button and craft thread. I'll secure my thread in the seam allowance, folding both sides over. And just gather up the top edge with a running stitch. Before I pull it tight, put the angel inside. This red fabric centered in the front. I'll distribute the fullness evenly. Wrap this nice strong thread around the neck. I'll go back and forth a couple of times. I'm not worried about the neatness here because there'll be a lace collar that conceals it. I'll go back and forth a couple of times and now I'll secure the thread in the back. I'm going to trim out this extra tool. That looks good. And now I have about a 15 inch piece of 5 8 inch wide lace, flat lace. It could be narrower or wider. It doesn't have to be exactly 5 eighths and it doesn't have to be white. It can be off-white or ivory or any color you like. I'm gonna fold over the end 
of just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch, to give the knot something to grab onto. And then I'll gather up the lace. I'm sewing just beneath the header. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm um, gathering up the lace around her neck like a collar and securing it in the back. I use the same piece of thread that I had from the sewing the dress. I'm distributing the fullness, pulling it nice and tight. That looks good. And then I'll secure the thread in the back. I, I have a needle threaded with red and white baker's twine, about 30 inches. And I'm going to just sew that through the top of the collar and remove the needle. and tie this into a simple bow, just like you're tying your shoe. Then I'll trim the streamers and then tie an overhand knot in each end to prevent them from untwisting. Now I have a little embellishment for her collar. I'm going to use these holly stickers, which I really like. There we go. Now for her hair. I have this loopy mohair in a natural color. One and two and three and four and five. I'm gonna do five loops. Cut a generous tail and then wrap this tail around a complete circle and then tie it off with the first tail. Then trim the tails and set that down. I'll do it again. We need two bundles. Leave a nice long tail, wrap it around your two fingers. One and two and three and four and five and make an X right here, boom, boom. Then take this top one, wrap it around, and tie it off. It's just making a figure eight bundle. It's not hard. And I have a separate tutorial just on this technique. So I have two bundles, one for the front, one for the back. We'll start with the back. So behind the hanging loop, I'm gonna spread hot glue all over the back of her head. Now put the center of the bundle up here, just behind the hanging loop, and I'll press the, the loops into the glue. Now for the front, I'm going to squeeze some glue right there in front of the hanging loop. Press the second bundle, the knot, the center of the bundle, into that glue. Make sure that's nice and secure. And then I'll do some hot glue right here from the top down along where her ear would be to the side of her face, like this. And then this bundle I'm gonna to twist toward the back and press it into the glue. That looks good. And the same thing for this side. I'll apply some glue from here down. Then twist the side bundle toward the back and press it into that glue. Then I'm going to hold that for a second, make sure it's nice and secure. It looks good. Putting a tiny bit more glue in the front of her head Glue down some of those extra loops there. That looks good. Now for her halo. This is 20 gauge gold wire. I'm going to cut off about two inches. And 
I'm creating this halo to be kind of like a hairband, shaping it around the thimble, and then I'll apply glue to each end, and I will glue that into her hair. So here's the wings, and I do have a wing tutorial. And there we go. I'm gonna hold that for a second until the glue is dry and secure. That looks in the back, and there we go. Nothing to it. She's fun and easy, and you can use up your entire Charm Square pack just making these angels. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.